welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Beta Capsule Puzzle, which means I'm going to give you the simplest way to disassemble that awkward start from its cage on the top of the capsule and then how you can do the exact reverse to put it back in its place. Now the beta capsule puzzle is a level 3 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and a level 7 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the beta capsule puzzle for yourself then you can pick it up from our website at puzzlemaster.ca. Without further ado, let's get on with that solution. Okay, so here is a fully assembled beta capsule puzzle. Now, first of all, this puzzle is uh, incredibly awkward. Firstly, given its size, we're sort of trying to manipulate this star around the uh, the capsule part of the puzzle. And it's a very small star and it's very small gaps and it's very, very fiddly. And if you didn't already know this, this is actually based on another Hanayama puzzle, which is called the cage puzzle. Now, with the cage puzzle, it's much easier to solve this one because it's bigger. It's still awkward, but it's but it's much bigger and much easier to move the uh, the star around, and also identify one of the parts on the star that that I'll describe in a second. So first of all, we need two things for this. We need to know which of the gaps in the capsule we're going to be using to get the star out of. Uh, first of all, that is the we're going to be using the only one that doesn't have any sort of uh, obstruction on its border on the left hand side as we're looking down on it. So this one has something on the left here. This one has something on the left here. This one has something on the left here. This one doesn't. So that is the one that we're going to be using because it's the only one big enough to uh, to get the star out of. The second thing we need to know is what position we need to get the star in to start with. Now what we are going to do for that is we just need to identify the shortest of the legs on the star. And it's probably quite hard to see this on camera, but for me this, the one that's pointing down at the minute is the shortest leg. Now once we've identified that, we're then going to use a, a process of trial and error to get to, the more, to a more specific position in which we're going to take it out of this gap. So we want the the shortest peg or leg of the star on the left hand side as we're looking down on it. So this is the gap we're using, this is the shortest leg. And it's very hard to identify which of the legs is going to be coming out first when the shortest one is on the left. So we're going to use a trial and error process because it's close to impossible to identify which one it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, keeping the uh, the short leg on the left, we're going to get two of the legs of the star through the front of the capsule. And what we should be able to do if we're in the right position is get it from this position, twist it anti-clockwise and get the leg that's up here also out of the front. So this one isn't the right one. So we're going to keep the short leg on the left, we're going to rotate it around so that we've got two different legs coming out of the front. And we're going to try the same thing. We're going to try and rotate. And we don't have room further to do that in this position either. So we're going to rotate the star again, keeping that short leg on the left hand side. It's very awkward to rotate him. So if you do struggle with that at certain points, then yeah, that's, that's completely normal. So here we're going to do the same again or try the same again and again we just can't quite do it. So we've tried three out of four of the uh, possibilities which means that we must have the right one this time around. So again we've got the short leg on the left hand side and what we're going to try and do is get these two legs out and then we're going to rotate around to get the third leg out into the, in this position here. So obviously now we know right we're in the right position. And now what we're going to do is we're going to keep rotating the uh, the star anti-clockwise until we get that short leg, which was on the left hand side as we first came out. Now it's done a full 360 degrees to get to this position where it's just come out uh, of the front of the capsule. And then from there we can then take the last two legs out and disassemble the beta capsule puzzle just like that. 
And for reassembling the capsule puzzle or the beta capsule puzzle, we're going to do it in much the same way. So firstly, identify or get the right part of the capsule. So again, it's the only side that doesn't have any obstruction on the left hand side as we're looking down on it here. With the start, we can more easily see now which is the shortest leg, uh, which is this one for, for me. And again, this one's to be on the left hand side as we are connecting this one or putting it back into place. So it was on the left hand side as we took it apart. We're going to keep it on the left hand side as we are putting it back together. And also we're going to apply the same trial and error uh, moves to get it into the right position. Because obviously we could be, we're trying to get two pieces in at the same time to start with and then twist a third one in. So obviously that could be these two, it could be these two, it could be these two, and it could be these two. Because that's a, uh, the leg on the left hand side is still on the left hand side in all those positions. So, ooh, we've lost it. So we're going to get the right gap, the shortest leg on the left hand side, and we're going to put two random ones, uh, other legs of the star in position here. And when we turn it clockwise, if we're in the right position, which we're not with this one, we should be able to get that short leg inside the left hand side here. So it's not those two there, so it's not that one and that one. So we're going to rotate it around into this position and see if we have any more success here. So here it's looking like we've got the right side. So we've got those two legs in and we're turning it clockwise until that short leg drops inside the capsule. So here we've got three legs inside it and three legs out the front here. And to put the three legs that are out the front of the minute in, we're just going to keep rotating the star clockwise until we get the next shortest leg, which is this one, uh, into the sort of top left hand position. And then all we need to do is just drop it inside and then keep turning clockwise until that star drops back through and into the beta capsule and that is how we fully reassemble the puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the beta capsule puzzle. Can be very awkward given the size of the star piece that you are trying to get out of the capsule but as long as you're coming out of the right place and you figure out which is the right point on the star then it's relatively straightforward to do even with its awkwardness of trying to hold the right piece or spot the right piece but hopefully this has helped you solve the beta capsule puzzle for yourself if you want to pick up more puzzles just like the beta capsule then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world and until next time I'll see you later.